Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, back doing a best of one Crimson Vow draft. All right, Mythic Open, Faithbound Judge, played with and against this now, very strong card. Three mana, four, four, Defender Flying Vigilance, you put some counters on it, then it can attack. Then once it dies, you can disturb it. It becomes a curse that makes your opponent lose the game after three turns, which is, both are very awesome. I like it. Other good cards in here, let's see. Um, Hypnotist for the Vampire Aggro deck is certainly playable and good. Infestation, I, I don't know how to feel about this card. I mean, it has good synergies with quite a few cards in the set. And it's whenever a creature card is put into your graveyard from anywhere during your turn. So as long as a creature dies on your turn, you still get an insect, which is not bad. It's a weird card, but I kind of like it. I like the Geist, both of them. Monstrosity is playable. I like Impulse, Socialite. Haven't really played Rallyer yet, but I think it's a fine card. And that's about it. All right, follow-up pick. Well, in white we have Piercing Light and Sanctify. Piercing Light is certainly playable. There's also Flame Blessed Bolt, which is better than Piercing Light. We have Cloaked Cadet, which is a good card. And Thirst for Discovery. Hmm. A lot of good options. I don't quite think Piercing Light... Ugh, that's tough. It feels just early enough to take Piercing Light where I don't love it. Because there's also Bleed Dry in here too, which... Looking around now, Bleed Dry might just be the best card. I mean, Bleed Dry is certainly better than Piercing Light by quite a bit. Mm. Let's just take the best card for now, Bleed Dry. I mean, I'd like to play Faithbound Judge. If I can't play Faithbound Judge, it's not the end of the world. But Bleed Dry deals with basically everything, including the Hullbreaker Horror, which not a lot of other cards do, so. Let's see. All right, the pick now. So in black, there's just Vampire's Kiss. In white, we have Valorous Stance, which probably is the pick. You know, Sun Gold Barrage was just destroy a creature with toughness four or greater. Basically unplayable in my book, although I played against it a bunch. But adding... Also, another mode where you can make a creature indestructible. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. It's also Kindly Ancestor in here. Another Flame Bless Bolt. But I'm fine taking Valorous Stance over Bolt, especially when I have a Judge. Um, it's probably arguable which one's actually better in a vacuum, too. That I mean, it's tough to compare those kind of removal spells, too, because they are very different. There's also Wolf Strike, but we're going to take Valorous Stance. There's some... Pretty premium removal in here all around, though. All right. Valor Stance it is. Ooh, you know, I actually kind of like Fierce Retribution. There's also a Braid in here. Chill of the Grave, Cruel Witness, some other decent things. Sawblade Singer, which I did get a chance to play. I kind of liked it, like the Weaver. Yeah, Sawblade Singer feels real good, or Slinger feels real good when you're walking in and uh, blowing up an artifact. I like that. But... Let's take the Pierce Retribution. I like this card. Two mana, destroy an attacking creature, but you can still play this in aggro because you can pay six mana and destroy any creature. So there's not a lot of just uh, destroy creature, no downside effects in white. I'm not even, maybe in uh, modern magic, yeah, maybe commenters can think of some, but I certainly can't. Usually there's some sort of downside or it's exile. Well, here's another Fierce Retribution. I'm okay taking it. It's just fine. There's also Ragged Recluse, Gift of Fangs, Blood Craze, Socialite. Those are all fine, but I'm going to take another Retribution. Like I said, six mana to deal with anything or two mana to deal with an attacker. Both those modes seem good to me. Okay, some good blue in here. Maybe blue-white is a path we can go. Could take the Cobbled Lancer. Uh, I think I like Lancer more than the Scab, the Spirit, and the Throng. I do kind of like, I, I like the Skywarp Scab too. And I guess the problem with the Lancer is I don't really want to exile a Faithbound Judge. And you really don't want to exile any of your Spirits, or your Disturbed Creatures, I should say. So that makes Lancer and Skywarp Scab a little bit less enticing, but... Nothing else terribly exciting here. I'll take the Lancer. I'm okay with that. I think the card is good. Uh, some good red now. 
Voltaic Visionary probably being the best by quite a bit. There's also Reckless Impulse in here. Another Bloody Betrayal deck. I've made a lot of those. Ragged Recluse, good with the uh, Blood Tokens. We don't have any of that yet, but that's in black. And I already have a Bleed Dry. It's a decent argument to take the Recluse. I think Recluse is quite a bit worse than Visionary, though. And seeing all this red makes me think red's more open. I'm going to take the Visionary. Hmm. Neville Gas Beguiler in white. Not really digging that. Could take Chill of the Grave. Even if you don't have a lot of zombies, we currently have one. It's still a great card. Prentice Sharpshooter in green. Weary Prisoner, which is not a card I'm big on. Let's take the Chill of the Grave. We're still trying to figure out our second color here. All right. See in the blue. I'm cool with that. Let's take the Binding Geist. I like Monstrosity too, and Monstrosity has good synergy with Lancer. Because this exiles something. Can exile itself or another creature. And Monstrosity gets unblockable at a certain point and has Ward. I kind of like Monstrosity, to be honest. But I'm going to take Binding Geist. This card is great. Attacks well, blocks well. All around pretty valuable to have. All right, I guess we can take the Spirit. Haven't played with this yet. Or I could take Reckless Impulse. I guess I can take Wanderlight Spirit. I don't, I don't really want to. I prefer my creatures to be able to block non-flyers, but that's okay. I guess we'll take Blood Servitor. All right, Cruel Witness, pick 12. Sawblade Singer, pick 12, is very surprising. That card is good, but I feel comfortable probably just going, trying to do blue-white. Uh, once again, I've made this argument for many sets, but... Destroy target attacking creature works a lot better when you have evasive creatures. Because then it's like you're smashing in. Yeah, last pick evasive creature. That's good. Howl Pack Viper. Jeez. Uh, what was I just saying? Oh, yeah. This works better with when you're attacking in from above so they can't block. And then they attack back and you pay a reduced price to kill their attackers. That's good value. Could take another Valorous Stance. There's also Traveling Minister in here, which is good. Especially with life gain synergies. That's more uh, Black White's territory. Pack Song Pup is good. Obviously, Piper's incredibly strong. Probably just taking a second stance and hopefully not being disappointed with that decision. Kill Spell or Protection. To be honest, we don't have a lot of things I want to protect. I guess I want to protect Faithbound Judge, but let's get rid of these for now. I think we probably... I think it's about... About decided that we are blue-white. So we could use some more... Uh, well, we have some early protection, which is nice. I guess we could use some more two-drop, you know, creatures or whatever, but... So, once again, unfortunately in white, we're not going to get as much benefit from disturbed creatures just because we have these exile things. I mean, that's not true. We... You always get value from Disturb. It's just it's not going to work as well as we want it to in here. What's this do? Two mana, two, two. Whenever you gain life, put a counter on it. As long as it has four or more plus one plus encounters, it has flying and vigilance. If it has ten or more, it has indestructible. That's tough to get going. Um, do we even have a way to gain life yet? We do not. That's going to make it a little trickier. There's also Foreboding Statue which kind of does double duty of ramping, fixing, and eventually becoming a win con. I kind of like that. Or I could take yet another Valorous Stance. Is three starting to get a little excessive? It might. It might just go Foreboding Statue here. We don't have any life gain yet, so Voice of the Blessed might be a hard to cast uh, uh, card, whereas... I haven't played with Foreboding Statue yet, but I think it's good. Wow, Thalia. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I'm going to take Thalia over Sigarda's Imprisonment. Just because it's a two-mana, two-power first striker. It's a pretty awesome card. Shield Basher is pretty good, too. But Thalia is sweet. I like that a lot. Okay. Just with a Doctor Ordered. What? Dream Shackle, guys. Now we're just, like, getting past all our on-color rares. Well, that feels good. Yeah, I haven't gotten to play with this. I've played against a deck that had multiples of it. 
Very, very good card. There's a Rallier in there and a Repository Scab. Both of those would be good, too. I guess we don't have great sack fodder for Repository Scab. For now, I'm going to take these two out just because I really would prefer to not have to play them if I don't have to. Heron of Hope versus Piercing Light. So, uh, removal right now. Two Fierce Retribution, two Valorous Stance, Chill of the Grave. Usually, I opt for removal. I kind of like this Heron of Hope, though. We're getting a good flyer count going. And you know how blue-white skies works. You need the skies to get it going. I kind of want to take the Heron over the Piercing Light. It might be... It might be wrong, though, but... It's a tough one. I want good flyers. Traveling Minister looks good. I'm going to take it. Pick six Flame Blast Bolt is pretty impressive. Uh, so we probably could have taken the two drop life gainer and gotten some benefit out of it. So bystander, currently we still only have, I guess, what? Well, these two synergize real well. At best, it'll become a 3-5 that we can't activate. That's still pretty good. And we want some more cheap bears, although I kind of want the retribution here too. Is that wrong? I'm going to take Retribution just because I like it so much, but there's some good two drops in there. Let's see. If Retribution ends up punishing me here, I guess I deserve it, but once again, we've got a lot of evasive stuff, which really does make Fierce Retribution better. Let's take the Scab. The nice thing about this deck is somehow we ended up not getting that much Disturb, so it's not like we're non-bowing with Skywarp Scab. It's still fine to have Disturb. Like, if you have to exile Disturb creatures to draw a card sometimes, it's not even like that's bad. So Spirit does have flying. I guess I can consider it. I'm going to take another chill here, though. I'll take all the chills. I'm, I'm cool with that. Fear of Death is another card that gets better uh, when you have a lot of flyers. Because weaken their ground dude and you can fly right over top if it's pretty cool. Could consider the boarded window. You know what? I probably will over retrieval can protect you. Repository scab seems fine. We've got plenty of things to get with that. Take the fear of death now. Probably don't need it though. I think we're likely doing better than that. Wow, Bloodcaster is a good one. Lunar rejection is good too. Creature count is 13, so we're getting there. I really like the infantry, but we have a lot of cheap removal now, which is nice can help with beatdowns, but could also just take Lunar Rejection. I mean, Bounce Draw is just sweet. It also deals with tokens randomly. Good tempo. I'll take the Rejection over the Infantry, I think. All right, another Chill. You can probably play Infinite Chills and be okay. How many zombies do we have? Four? Actually, four zombies is not bad. If you're ever paying two mana for this, you're feeling pretty good. There's a Rallier in there too, but this is fine. So, things I'm thinking about cutting. Well, ooh, Distracting guys is good. Resistance Squad, how many humans we got? We have two humans in here? How did that happen? That's way less than I expected. All right, probably take Distracting Geist then. Tapper that can get more value later. Take the train, the trainee. Not bad either. But we'll probably take the Geist. All right, I can take the trainee now. Or we could take Evolving Wilds. Currently at 14 creatures. What am I thinking about cutting here? I don't know. We have a lot of goodies. Maybe the spirit, once again, can't block, but it is evasive. I mean, this is basically a deck. 13, but we have card draw. I guess I would like some more creatures if possible. Take the trainee. I want the evolving wilds, to be honest, but... I have to consider some some things here. All right, can take the Rallier, can take the Ceremonial Knife. I think with the amount of tempo removal stuff we have, probably won't have space for Knife, so I guess I'll take Rallier. 
Shield Basher, another statue. I mean, the statues are fine. It's just... No, they're fine. Or another repository scab. Like I said, we, we don't have great sack fodder, which makes scab quite a bit worse. I'll try out the statues. I'm kind of curious about them. Thirst for Discovery, some great card advantage. Otherwise, Soul Cipher board. Another Chill to the Grave. Probably take Thirst. That's a pretty amazing card draw spell. This is going to be a tough deck to build. We've got way too many, way too many good cards. Dot deck. My my favorite archetype. Well, Biolumeg is good with exploit. Unfortunately, we only have what one exploit. There's nothing else really though. And tumor. Guess we'll take the egg in case it pans out. Pick nine Flame Bless Bolts. That's kind of crazy. I'll just take the Uncommon. Unlock the Bolt more. Nothing on color here. Just take the Uncommon. Taking in Tumor. Probably not making the deck, though. Honored Heirloom. Don't need it. Whatever. Well, Red turned out to be open. Ceremonial Knife. Playable. So, a lot of goodies in here. A lot of goodies. I don't think... How many bombs did we get, though? We actually got a decent amount. We got Thalia, which is not a bomb, but good card. Unfortunately, Thalia makes quite a few Var things more expensive, too. <laughs> like Chill and all that, but what can you do? Uh, all right, so we have 18 creatures. Biolumega, I don't think we have space for it. I don't think we need the Repository Scab. Like I said, the main issue with the Repository Scab in here is that we... Don't have good sack fodder. And paying four mana and sacking itself to get back. Uh, I mean, I guess Parish Blade Trainee is a reasonable thing to sack, especially if it has counters. Then it's like you're sacking it and you're getting something back. But I think I want to cut the Entumor, even though it turns on some of the things in here. I think Scab's going to go... How do I feel about the statues? I'm kind of okay with them. They take a little while to get going, though. But they also, like, ramp. You know what? I kind of want to give them a try. They're reasonably priced win cons, I feel like. So let's cut the knife. Uh, maybe I don't do two Valorous Stance, even though I think it's great. We have We have some cuts to make here. I want to keep the Thirst. We have three retributions. We have good removal in here. Keep the lunar rejection. Because I think ultimately, especially against werewolf decks, wolf and werewolf decks, it's going to be better than chill. Let's cut one stance. I'm willing to cut another creature because we have a good amount of card draw. How many zombies did we get? Three zombies. So I prefer to not cut the scabs for that reason. Also, scabs in here are just good. Evasive, can block, and we have Exile Fodder, probably. Although two scabs and a Lancer is going to require quite a bit of... Quite a bit of creatures dying. Um, so I could cut two chills and call it a deck. And we're trying out Statue to see what I think. We really don't have much use for the mana, but... They turn into five fives that generate extra mana. It's not bad. Like, if I cut two chills, <coughs> excuse me, I still have three Fierce Retributions, Valor Stance, Lunar Rejection, two chills, Dream Shackle guys, which is kind of removal. Like, it still feels like we have enough removal. I like this deck. I think it actually looks kind of good. They want more, we have more white than blue, but they want more blue mana. Probably because we have a lot of double blue and only one double white. I suppose that does make sense then. Okay, well, I'm satisfied with this deck. I think it looks kind of good. Good creature count. We've got card advantage. We have removal. 
all the creatures look pretty good. I don't have any complaints here. All right, we'll run it like this. We'll see you around one. Uh, all right, I guess this is a keep. Can't play Lancer yet, but that's all right. We'll take a hit from this. All right. So We'll do the scab. So we have to take more damage here, but we have we have a zombie, which helps. We have chill the grave. Ah, welcoming the Empire. Well, hmm. So I can pay full price to kill the welcoming vampire, but then I take. I think I might have to just let them draw for now. I could have killed the welcoming vampire, but I kind of feel like we need to protect ourselves for now. So I'm going to chill to try and find some more action here. Hmm, well, that kind of works. At least we can cast the Lancer. Can't really attack. So let's uh, let's bounce welcoming vampire. All right, now we can at least do binding geist, and we can still do chill of the grave, which is cool too. So that's good.
Mm, let me just take it, just because the minister can gain me life. But we'll see. I might not get that luxury here. All right. Looks like it's GG's. We'll see you for the next one. Hmm. Um, this one seems a bit too dangerous. We need white mana in order to do anything, and we're on the play, so I don't like that one. This one's fine, though. So, we'll ditch a island here and call it good. Can start with turn three statue. I mean, that's probably where, honestly, that's probably where the statue needs to be in order to be really good. I kind of like uh, the rallier statue value is actually kind of cool. But let's do statue first. And then we can get that faithbound judge down, which is nice. Two can play at this ramp game. Oh, I sure hope they don't have flame bless bolt. Oh, so I have access to five mana. Whatever, let's just do the judge. Hmm. It's a big one. So this can attack with three. Okay. Take six here. I don't want to risk it with a bunch of open mana. Oh, it's going to make things tricky. It's at the beginning of your in step. Okay, that's good to know. So things can die. It's going to make scab a little trickier too. How does this work? Okay. So it's at the beginning of your instep. Got it. Just block like that. Well, I guess we do both. That way, if they have a trick, hopefully they don't kill both of our guys. I mean, the, the race otherwise seemed kind of unwinnable, so... Um, I don't want to put that in my graveyard, actually. I'm fine with that. Well, they can only attack with two things with Puppeteer to make it go off. Or they can attack, yeah. Maybe they forgot about Puppeteer. I, I forget about Puppeteer, too. Um... So how do we want to block here? S 
so hmm I want to kill the bramble worm but I might have to hold up on that I can double block the celebrant plus eat the taxidermist that's pretty good and then I can follow up with a statue and a thing for next turn and I only lose one flyer and I take out two of their dudes but I take 11 and I go to three it's not great but I feel like I need to deal with the menace dude pretty badly so maybe we have to do it like this So, let's see here. I want to block like this. We can block. It says trample and reach, huh? Hmm. Tricky. That's my best block here. Block like this. No, then I die. So I can't do that. This is tricky. What if I block like this, three, and then this? So I, I lose two of my dudes, but hmm. I go to one, but we kill the bramble worm. I don't love this, but this is what we're doing. I wanted to keep my heron alive, but I feel like I'd take too much trample damage otherwise. Hmm, it's a tough one to beat. <laughs> well, I wish I could keep that tapped. Well, we were a turn away from victory. I feel like if I wasn't at one life, we could have done it. If only I had a zero power creature. All right, see you for the next one. All right, game three, we're going to snap all this. Blue mana, all white spells, that's not going to work. This one will work, though. We'll ditch the blue mana. Countered. And unfortunately exiled. Because we have two Skywarp scabs and uh, another thing.
At least we can pay for syncopate. Ooh. They got us. Oh, if only I could exile my other creature that got exiled. That would make this a lot better. So, we want to sandbag land for thirst for discovery. like soul cipher boards non-token oh creature card yeah that makes sense they had to read it too i guess they screwed up and thought they would get a token off I don't really want a Lunar Rejection and Overcharged Amalgam. I don't think that's going to work great for us. Oh my god. A non-land card? What in the world? I didn't know I could draw non-land cards in this game. No one told me that was a possibility.
So I probably need to bounce the Soul Cipher board creature. Although, they already have a grip full of spells. I don't really get what's going on here. Ah, okay. <clears throat> I probably want to bounce that. I can actually pay the... Do they, they don't own anything in exile, but I can't afford to let that huge thing do stuff there. So, we'll pay the extra two mana. Ah, binding guys, that's cool. Hey, chill the grave, cool. So Alright. Let's I think we need to start attacking here. Now that we have chill of the grave. So if they replay the monstrosity, it's probably fine. Hmm. I don't quite understand how they could have 6,000 cards in their hand yet not be doing anything here. Yeah. So I can pay to tap the monstrosity. Guess it doesn't matter because they have three power, but whatever. Hmm. That's not the target I was expecting. So. We're going to use the Binding Geist, and we can even look at the top card here, so that's cool. They do, still don't own any cards in Exile, too, which is nice. Let's do the... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think which one we should do with this Binding Geist. Monstrosity... I can't do monstrosity because I can't pay for it. Could do the cipher bound spirit. I guess that protects me since, it, yeah. All right. No, we want that one. We want that one. We can play that because we can still discard this island in hand. Nobody expects the Consuming Tide. So I get to keep one. Bounce the others, huh? Well, I wonder which one they're going to keep. I'm going to get my Binding Geist back, too. They're probably keeping the Monstrosity. That would make sense. So I probably keep the Cruel Witness. Just because it hits for the most. They didn't even get to draw because they have way more cards in hand than I do. I don't understand what they have in their hand. How could they possibly have that many cards? 
So we have 10, 11 potential mana here. We have three, six, nine. Three, six, nine, ten. I could do so. I could do thirst first. Thirst first. Five, eight, eleven, two. I could just play. Do I have two creatures to exile? I do not. Hmm. Do I want to do the thirst first, or do I want just more flyers? I want to get as much on board as possible right now, I feel like, because they, they have the Amalgam to counter again, too. That's true. Let's just get some baddies down. Oh, wait. 5, 8, 11. Oh, yeah, so that just means I have to play this. Play this guy. This guy. This guy. And smash for 3. And they don't own anything in exile, so I guess that's good. So, can pay the extra two, so six, seven, eight. a weird victory weird game still don't quite understand how my opponent could have a thousand cards in hand a ton of mana and not be casting things but we'll take it hey i'll take a victory here we'll see you for the next one all right looks like a keep to me hmm Oh no, not mischievous cat geist. Man, I sure wish I had one of my three fierce retributions in hand. So I think we'll do Chill of the Grave. I want to do Distracting Geist, but if they have a Tempo card, that gets us pretty good. So Chill maybe buys us a little more time. Ooh, I want to do that, though. They left up mana. I'm just going to leave up Chill of the Grave. I, I think it's the safest. I don't want them going out of, getting out of hand here. And who knows, if they counter that, at least maybe I can resolve the Faithbound Judge. They're really questioning whether they should use that syncopate. Ultimately, I think I'm happy they did. If we'd cast anything on our turn or would have gotten countered, they would have drawn anyway. Now at least we can resolve our faithbound judge, so I'm happy. Unless they have if they have another syncopate, no, we still can. That's alright. We still can.
Mm. I'd sack the cat guys there. Huh. Wonder why that one. Maybe they have a bounce? Then it makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. Get the cheaper cost. Yeah, that worked. All right. Oh, good timing. I'm going to do the expensive thing. So far, they've pretty masterfully tempoed us. Two drop draw, counter draw, tap down draw. So they've gotten, they've already, they've already ancestraled off their cat geist. Which is a card I, I liked. I haven't gotten even to play with it yet, but I liked it during the spoilers. I think a lot of people were down on it, but it's like a two mana scroll thief. I think that's pretty good. No, oh, we're still okay, believe it or not. Believe it or not. Uh, two, five, six. So we don't have enough to do both of these. Might as well just do this. One more turn and we can start at least attacking with the Faithbound Judge. That's cool. And then who knows? If they kill it, maybe I can start ticking their life down with the curse. Alright. Okay. Well, they're tapped out, and Judge can start attacking, so that's cool. Let's uh, get in for a four here. And then we'll go Heron and Distracting Geist. Still can't cast this Cobbled Lancer, but that's okay. I guess even if they kill Faithbound Judge, I probably don't want to cast the Lancer. I'd be more willing to do it with the Distracting Geist. Hmm, well... It's going to make it a little tougher. Expected. Don't you want to tap the Skywarp scab? My plan is to kill Cat Geist. Well, hmm. So let's kill. Kill their distracting geist too. Let's kill distracting geist and cat geist. But then they can use their distracting geist to 
tap more. So would I rather kill the stitched assistant? No, at least it'll take up their turn to do that. So that's probably okay. Um, and I'm not recasting my distracting guys. I'm using it to get the Lancer. So yeah, this is okay. But I prefer if they didn't draw any more. So, um, I can attack and gain three life, take me to 10. They can use distracting guys, tap my scab, attack team. I could trade Lancer for assistant. Or Eden infantry. I wonder if I just want to chill here though. I might just have to chill. Not something I'm in love with, but I'm playing the land just because, I mean, I could gain the life here, but tapping the thing and getting in, I still feel like we take a little bit too much damage than I'm comfortable with. I played land so that in case Lancer dies this turn, I can do, I can draw the card at the end of their turn. We're getting our other Skywarp Scab back as a blocker next turn, too, which is nice. We still have three Fierce Retributions in here, too. Um, I have Bounce capabilities, too, for this Faithbound Judge. So I could draw that. That'd be nice if I could get my Judge back. No attacks, no plays. That'd be kind of weird. Oh, cemetery protector. So exile things and then just start spitting out a million one ones. It's gonna be a tough one to beat. I guess I don't have any cards in yard, so that worked out okay. So we got our blocker back. Ooh, Thalia. Well, <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing. I think we'll get in with the hair in here. I need to start gaining some life, and now I have the extra blocker at least, so that's cool. And Thalia can at least block the infantry well. We'll see if they make the trade. I'm okay if they do too. Not thrilled about it, but... I think we do it anyway. I'd be more surprised if they didn't make the block. The fact that they make the block makes me think maybe they don't have a great way to otherwise deal with it. And it's whenever it attacks or whenever you play a land or cast a spell. All right. So if they, if it shares a card type with that creature, it's pretty good, no doubt. At least they have to pay extra, I guess, for their non-creatures. I suppose we do, too. I haven't seen Thalia in a while. Maybe the White Weenie decks wants, wants Thalia, huh? Probably. Probably. 
in uh, constructed, I mean. That was the old school one, but maybe that's more important in historic than standard. Who knows? Is the two mana, two power first strike even good enough for standard these days? Possibly not. Well, at least they have to pay six if they want to do distracting guys. That's cool. Hmm, scarp scab their own, huh? Do they have two creatures? Oh, they do. They got rid of their cat guys. Okay. Well, they don't have the mana to kill my judge, so if I could find a way to bounce it, that would be good. Ah, Fierce Retribution. Well, so I have the extra mana. I can kill the Scab Strike from above. The problem is they still have the Distracting Geist. So I'm not sure. I almost feel like I need to deal with the Protector because that kind of makes us even on board, I feel like. So they're not getting too overwhelming. Because it's not like I can attack with Skywarp Scabs once I do that. Because then they can distract and guys and get in there. If I kill their Skywarp... Nah, they, they just have too much. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and deal with this thing. I could have done it on their turn, I suppose. But Alright. They had what they needed. We'll pass. Had just enough mana, too, by the way. Okay. You still have blockers. Like, if they attack with everything, they probably kill assistant, kill an infantry, kill two infantries, so I at least keep my dudes, get rid of some of their board. We take some damage, but we're still alive. I mean, I want to kill the protector, too, but I feel like, I don't know, can't really afford to take a lot of damage here. So now we pass. Mm. It's going to make things tricky. Kind of need our Thirst for Discovery or some other card advantage here. Well, I mean, it's not bad. Might need to take out the Sky Warp Scab. That's probably true, actually. All right, let's do that. That way they can't tap our things and we get rid of their one flyer. I'm all right with that. Jeez, all right. <laughs> I, I don't know what I can do. <laughs> they have every answer.
Let's see. Two, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I can't do that. Do this and go to nine. Not sure what else I can do here. Or go to one rather. All right, ended up going 1-3. I actually really liked this deck. I mean, obviously it did terrible, but um, I think it was actually a very good deck. It had a lot of goodies in it. A lot of cheap removal, a lot of early ways to hold off. Um, card advantage, Disturb, Skies Creatures, Rares, Mythics. Um, it had everything. I had really zero issues with this deck. But we did not get there. So, all right. Let's uh, wait for the server and then claim our one pack here. All right. I haven't played with Stintia Uprising yet, but it's a cool card. I'd take it. Probably. Would I take it over Parasitic Grasp? I kind of want to give it a chance. I like giving rares a chance. And this one's pretty sweet. It starts making 1-1s one right away. And then has some upside. I mean, generating a token each turn is is not bad. I'd probably try it over the, the removal. All right. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one.